so it sounds like um, what you mentioned to um, some of the other counselors in terms of an idea is zoning incentives. Um, so it sounds like with all of these things, uh, what would need to happen is we need to get creative. Yes. With our zoning and with what we as a community, which it sounds like from attending these master planning meetings, the Ward 2 master planning meeting specifically blew my mind because Ward 2 is an area where there is a majority of single family homes. And so I wouldn't have expected people to mention that. And then I realized I live right around the corner from the intersection of College Farm and Lincoln Street, which is the most dense area of Ward 2. Mm -hmm. There are, from the, around the corner from my house, there are at least eight multi-unit buildings, mm -hmm. buildings. And I live in a single family home just around the corner and mm -hmm. I have not experienced any <laughs> quality of life issues, traffic issues. The other uh, area that uh, when I was campaigning King's Way, I didn't realize how far back that went. Mm -hmm. um, and we're talking about spread versus height yeah. um, in terms of zoning. So uh, I guess if you had to sort of summarize some of our work uh, that needs to be done, and mm -hmm. I don't want to be ignorant to the infrastructure impacts because that's huge and that you outlined that very well, especially consulting with um, engineers uh, city engineers, but with respect to the zoning, um, what are some of the uh, ways that we could get more creative? One of the things is to reduce the parking requirements, if not completely eliminate them. And again, that ties into the main focus of the act, which is to encourage people to use public transportation rather than having their own vehicles. People in the downtown would be able to get to Hannaford for their groceries. There are a number of banks in the area. There are dry cleaners. So it's a good area to have a walking community design. Roberts Brandeis isn't quite ready for that. You don't have the grocery store there. I, you may have one bank. I'm not even sure of that. A couple of very small businesses. Um, so that would require more of a build out. And one of the um, other things to note with respect to the act is that when you make the buy right zoning, you cannot require that there be mixed use. So you can't encourage these other small business uses be a part of the development. If you do that, then your units don't count. 